Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Tea Time with Friday Reads, Colored Whips, and Color and Information. Okay, so the tea, my teacup is one of my favorites. This I got a couple years ago from Justin from Starbucks. It has very pretty designs. The design is also inside the mug. I love this. Tonight's tea is the one that Lisa had sent me a while ago. Pineapple mango. It's loose tea. Its ingredients are black tea, pineapple, mango, natural flavor, sunflower, rose, and mallow blossoms. And the company is www.in slash t well not slash the little bar t dot net see can you see that in t dot net so I haven't really checked them out online to see what their teas are all like but that's what I'm having tonight on to Friday reads so since last Friday night I read the Christmas Cafe at Seashell Cove by Karen Clark. I gave this a four star. This was very, very cute. I received this from NetGalley for an honest review. And I think I did a YouTube video review. And I know it's on Goodreads. So you can go check out the full review. Then I read... Whoops, that's not it. Kill the Queen by Jennifer Estep. This I gave a five star. This was amazing. Yeah, a little bit like Game of Thrones mixed in with um, Sarah Moss books. Very, very good. I got this from Edelweiss for review, and again, this is on Goodreads, and I do believe that I did a review on YouTube for this. Love this book. It's the first of a new series. Then I read... Where are you? Dragon Knight... By Donna Grant. This is a novella for a... Hold on. This is a novella for a series. I did not read the series, but this novella, I gave it a four star. And this, I did a blog tour of. The review is on my blog. I am not sure if I did this. I can check. YouTube videos made. Yes, I did do a review on my channel for this and for Kill the Queen. I did not do it for... Oh, yes, and I did it for the Christmas Cafe at Seashell Cove. So all three of these you can find on my blog, Goodreads, and my YouTube channel. Then I read... <clears throat> The Darkness by Ragnar jo Jonasson. This I was given to by the publisher for a review. I think I won this as an ARC or... No, this was given to me in a box of books to do a review from the publisher. That's right. I gave this a two star. No, I wrote down three. I gave it a three star. Oh, I thought I gave it a two. I did not to review this on my channel. I was bored with this book. There's not a lot of pages because the print is big. And then you have pages like that where they're blank. Um, I just could not really get into the book. It was slow. It was a little boring. I didn't like really any of the characters in it. And... 
the ending, I thought, I just kept reading it because it's a horror. It was compared to like a Stephen King. I got done reading this and I was doing this going, what did I just read? I don't understand what the plot was. I don't understand why anything happened. I don't get it. So, yeah, I wrote down I gave it a three star, but I thought I gave it a two. I don't, I did not like this book. Anyways. <clears throat> then last night I finished. Where are you? Oh, not you. Oh. And I don't have, this is all I have. I don't have a regular cover. The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. I finished this last night. I got this from NetGalley for review. This was a five star. This is a psychological thriller. And oh my God, I could not put this down. And this review is on my channel, on Goodreads, and on my blog. Go watch. Go watch the video. Awesome. Psychological thriller. Loved it. Right now, I am reading... <clears throat> One Dark Night. Who's the author? Hold on. I can't see it on this because I I don't want to change the page I'm on. One Dark Night by Tom Bale. I received this from Nat Galley. This is a blog tour that I'm doing on Tuesday for Book of Tour. They are the publisher. This is a psychological thriller and it is very, very good. So I have like two hours left in this, an hour and a half. So I plan on finishing this tonight. I am, Lisa's coming tomorrow. I can't clean anymore. I didn't do the cobwebs and I didn't bag up all my water bottles to take to the recycling center. So that'll just have to wait. Everything else is done. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I had to babysit today too. So, and I'm, when I'm done here, I gotta dye my hair. It needs it, needs some touch up and some loving. So I will finish my book then. And I am, after, and then I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six flip through videos. So they will go up during the week. Mmm, yummy. Okay, colored whips. I haven't picked this up again. This is Whimsical Wonders. I started a page in here that I was watching Belinda from Faithful Girl. So I started this a couple weeks ago and have not finished it. I'm hoping to finish this while Lisa's here. And I'm still watching videos for Color with Claire. This is a Hannah Lynn VIP freebie. You have to be on to her VIP lounge. It's $1.99 a month. You get a freebie every month, plus she does giveaways. And Color with Claire is doing this picture, and she's doing the... Um, this is the simple page. She's doing the other page. It's the same, except this is simple, where the one she's doing has, like, wallpaper lines and stuff all in the background. I don't, I'm not doing that one. Then, I'm still working with Color Raru, because I love this picture. So, we are coloring in Romantic Country, The Third Tale. And I need to finish the grass. Did I get, the, and I need to finish the sky. Molly, they cannot see when you're up here. I love you, girl. Okay, so I'm working still on the sky, and then I got to finish the grass before I start. I see she just put up the next video, so I'm hoping to get to that while Lisa's here. 
And I know she did another video, I believe. Um, yeah, she did with the witch on the next page. So I'm doing that one too. And then for Sean, Lisa, and I were supposed to start a picture as a buddy color, and I started it first. And then Lisa finally started coloring it, and for Sean, hasn't yet. So I'm done coloring in it until next week. But I'm coloring out of Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova. And we are doing this, and I'm using my whole binds. So, yeah. My bat's done. The pumpkins are done. Now I have to figure out what else I want to do. So those are all my recent whips. I'm not showing all my other ones. I haven't touched them in a while. Now on to some coloring news. October. I did have to... Make a couple changes on here. So October on YouTube, John the Bibliophile Colorist is coloring in A Million Cats by Lulu Mayo. Me and Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven is doing Carla Magana. Megana Magana. You pick her last name. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard her say her last name on her channel. But you know me, I say Magana. Um, let's see. And from A Colorful Life is doing Day of the Dead. She was co-hosting with Zoe, which she still is, but Zoe hasn't had time um, because of her health to do it on her channel. But she is doing it on her um, Facebook group. And her Facebook group is... Did I write it down? No, I believe it's called the Colorful Journey or the Coloring Journey. I'm sorry. Oh, yep, it is our Coloring Journey. So she's not doing it on her channel. If she did, I didn't see the video yet. Okay, Victoria Colors and Samantha Oswald are doing Hannah Lynn Halloween, and I have not watched their videos yet. I have not colored in my Hannah Lynn Halloween book yet, and I'm hoping to do that next week. Sharon Sanctuary. I have not spoken to Sharon. I need to send her a message tonight. She was written down to color in vampires and I have not seen any videos up yet and today's the 19th um Sharon you out there you okay I'll have to give you a text like I said and from a colorful life is day of the dead Jessica's coloring corner is owl tober and I have not done an owl yet and you know what I have quite a few finishes and I have not posted one finish on Facebook yet I know, right? Good thing Lisa's on. Lisa's here all this weekend, all next week. 24 hours from now, we will be sitting here coloring or chatting, no telling, probably crying because we finally get to meet, but you know how that goes. And Sky from Dream and Color is also working out of Hannah Lynn Halloween, and I have not watched hers yet either lipping. Okay, Facebook. There's been a change. Erin from Simple Art for Adults has given up her ownership in her Facebook group. She has not had the time. She has handed it over to her moderators and administrators and they have changed the name of the group. It is no longer called Simple Art for Adults. It is now The Coloring Connection. So check it out. Nothing's changed. It's still over on the same site. They just changed the name. Which I didn't know you could do. Okay. Like I said, Zoe's channel is, or Zoe's Facebook group is Our Coloring Journey. And she's doing Day of the Dead. 
Um, my group color with Shaleen and Friends is Carloween, hashtag Carloween. Also, take any picture, divide it in half, color half of it in Halloween colors, and the other half in bright colors. Also, Corey is doing one on my group color pumpkins, but they can only be blue or teal. So I still need to do that one, too. Okay, Jessica's Coloring Corner on Facebook is doing Halloween, or How Owltober. Pencil Ho Club, different set of pencils every week. I did not do it this week. Um, I haven't been really changing it every week. I think I've been changing them every other week, so I'm not sure what the pencils are going to be on Monday. We've had a lot of people join, though. Color in tips and tutorials with Faithful Girl 1978. She is doing a mass grade exclusive, which I have printed it up, but I have not watched her videos. I'm like two pictures behind. I've been printing up the pictures, but I haven't watched her videos. She also has an October challenge of coloring something with a mask or a costume and using a certain color palette. Let's see. Reading with Pugs Coloring. The mythographic page or the color lawn was October 5th through October 8th. I actually did a page, never uploaded it. Still have to do that. They had their Halloween cozy color and night last Saturday. I had to babysit, so I did not get to watch it. And Deborah Muller gave them a free picture called Pugkin Special for Halloween. Very cute. I still have to color that. A little splash of color ends tomorrow on the 20th doing sugar skulls. Just color. Pick, color a picture of Halloween, post it by the 31st. They are giving away a $15 Amazon gift card. A Colorful Life is Day of the Dead. And also, from now until the end of the year, is color out of books you own and haven't colored in yet. And the hashtag for that is show that color in book love 2018. Color in time. Until November 2nd, they have five challenges going on, color lawns. One is Spooky Stuff Day of the Dead slash Halloween. The other, second one is Creative Haven slash Dover, anything by them. The third one is an autumn slash fall theme or color palette. The fourth one is Food Frenzy, any picture with food in it. And the fifth one is a JBJ, which is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Any pictures, including anything from her Patreon pages. Hannah Lynn's Whimsical Adult Coloring. Every week they have a different picture from a different Hannah Lynn book. Um, this week was Enchanted Halloween, The Witch's Brew. Molly Harrison Fantasy Art Coloring Group, Halloween Inspired. Colors up to you, but a pumpkin or a bat included would be awesome. October on Instagram is Anne from A Color for Life, hashtag show that coloring book love 2018. November, YouTube. The Bibliophile Colorist is Anything by Fabiana Antanagio. I am co-hosting with Sharon Anything by Bennett Klein, including his freebies if you are in his group. Colorero is Fall Inspired. Can't wait to see what she does. And Anne from A Colorful Life is, like I said, color out of any coloring books that you have not colored in yet. And it's hashtag show that color in book love 2018. I believe Zoe Archer is still doing Disney Delights. Grace's color in corner is Mardell Rubio. And Dream in Color is Hannah Lynn Christmas. 
And don't forget on YouTube, on the 17th and the 18th of November is the Streamathon. Facebook, I don't know yet for November. Of course, my group will have Bennett Klein and whatever else the moderators want to do. I'm sorry, Molly, I can't read that. Sammy for November Instagram is hashtag color and get cozy in the fall, autumn, and warm colors. And for the weekend of the streamathon, it's hashtag color like nobody's watching. December YouTube. The bibliophile colorist is coloring in the inspired room by Melissa Michaels. I am doing anything by Tanya Bogima Stolova, which are the nice little town books. Color Roo is Christmas slash winter pages. And from a colorful life has canceled the 12 days of Christmas collaboration and it's color in a coloring books that you have not colored in yet. Zoe Archer is a Christmas celebration. And Grace's Color and Corner is Finish Those Whips. Facebook, I do not know yet. Instagram, do not know yet. And that is it for this year. I am not sure if my blog is updated with all these coloring news. I will, I'm, I'll try to do that tonight if I remember. But that is it. Joy in my tea. We will be doing more tea because I just ordered a whole bunch of tea from a company I've never heard of before. It's on its way, and so every Friday night we will try a different tea. I will try it before then, but I will show you a different tea every Friday night. So that is it, my peepers, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye! Yay, tea!